Hello, welcome to Marco Robotics. Today we will learn about MicroOS and uh, we will try to connect uh, ESP32 with MicroOS and we will communicate with the microprocessor which is our laptop and microcontroller unit which is ESP32. So you will require ESP32 and this is the model and uh, one data cable to connect laptop with the ESP32 and laptop. Here is the official website of MicroOS and uh, it has tons of different functionalities and also supports many hardware types, uh, many hardware boards and here is the boards that MicroOS supports and uh, here is the ESP32 that we are going to use let's start our installation here is the tutorial and you can find the link in the description uh, we will install this ESP32 based microOS first source and then create the workspace and clone the micro ROS into it And now we will create the workspace for ESP32, the firmware workspace. We have successfully downloaded the firmware workspace and now we will configure it. So for that we need our IP address. So we will type if config. Uh, this here you see is the IP address that we need. So we will sorry. We will copy this IP address and to come over here. IP address and uh, now we have to specify the name of the project that we have drawn so we will go to the micros workspace firmware and uh, free auto app apps here we see the publisher rename we will copy the name And paste it here. That's right. So uh, this is successfully done. We have to configure our Wi Fi now. Yes. For Wi Fi, she should. Come on this micro ROS transport settings, uh, Wi Fi settings, and then the my SSID, and you can find it here. In my case, this is my Wi Fi. 
uh, go to here identity and copy uh, come here paste the name hit enter and uh, come over here and hit S to save hit enter and Q this is successfully saved and now we will build the firmware this is the most crucial part in order to run a project because it gives a lot of error so let's see if it gives now during building the firmware I got the error that I solved by this method I use these three commands and it builds successfully I will provide this URL in description you will be able to solve your error if you find any and uh, the firmware is successfully built and now we will have to connect our ESP32 and we will connect it with this computer here so let's get back to the after building the firmware, we have to flash it into the ESP32. So it is flashing it. So it is successfully flashed. Now we will have to create the agent that will be used to connect it with the uh, with the actual ROS in in the microprocessor I mean in laptop So successful, uh, successfully installed. We will build the agent. The agent build is also successful. Now let's source it. So finally, we are going to run the publisher on. ESP32 and uh, here we have to press the enable button once so it is it is not going uh, or not connecting so again we have to change the command we have an error here the UDP port is uh, causing the error we have to connect it through serial here is the example in my case a USB ACM ACM zero and now this is connected as you can see this is connected so we will see the ROS topics
here you can see the or uh, free artos in 32 publisher topic is alive now uh, ross to topic echo this will show the data that is being published on it so he have successfully made a publisher and run it on and ran it on the esp32 and thank you so much for this tutorial and you have seen how did we manage to solve the errors and uh, how to find the error i will be back with the subscriber and we will connect it with the publisher and publisher will be in in the laptop and the subscriber will be in the esp32 thank you so much we will see you next time